Let's get right into a trade that I took this morning. I kind of want to do these breakdowns on this technical analysis, kind of showing you guys uh, over and over um, what it exactly looks like, where I'm actually entering trades, where I'm setting my stops, and why I'm actually taking these trades. If you watch any of those three, four training workshop videos that uh, I put out a couple of days ago, I was talking about the 20 period moving average. I'm talking about trading with the 20 period moving average. And I'm using three indicators, you know, uh, when they're presenting themselves, three setups. Those setups, just to recap in case you missed those videos. And if you did miss those videos, you might want to go back and watch them so you can kind of get a, a more of an understanding. But the first one that we're going to be talking about is a reclaim of the 20 period moving average. And I'm going to show you that in just a second because that's exactly the trade that I took. We're also going to talk about color changes, and we're also going to talk about elephant bars. So those are the three setups that I'm looking for long and short. The setup that I took today was on AMD. The time that I took this trade was in the 645, between 645 AM and 650 AM Pacific Standard Time candles, and I'll show you why. So if we look here... Uh, Pre-market trading below the 20 period moving average. The 20 period moving average is this white line on my screen. We are trading below the 20 period moving average here at 645. We get this nice elephant bar and an elephant bar is a green bar that closes at the top, usually a small tail or no tail at all. And that takes out at least one to two previous candles. Okay, so we can see here at 645, we get this nice green elephant bar. And it is our first close and reclaim of the 20 period moving average. So what I am going to do as soon as I see this setup, obviously, I was watching AMD from the jump. Normally, I don't like to trade anything within the first five minutes. I like to let that first five minute candle here kind of form and close and then kind of base uh, the rest of the day or the rest of that trade off of that. Um, 6.45, we do get that reclaim of the 20 period moving average. I'm going to just mark a trend line here so it's easier to show. That price is about 105.27. So what I'm looking for in the next five minute candle is a confirmation of that price action. As soon as I get that confirmation of that price action, boom, I'm going to immediately enter into the trade you can see here that we opened up kind of came back down back tested this 20 period moving average and as soon as we crept up over this confirmation here of the reclaim of the 20 period moving average this is my entry i'm also going to keep emphasizing and telling you guys i am looking for two to three pushes up on any scalp to the long side as well as to the short side i'm going to kind of show you how we can squeeze maybe an extra bar or two out of that if the stock wants to continue to run so in this scenario here i am going to enter uh, into this trade at 6 50 a.m as soon as we get confirmation of this reclaim candle here. And what I am looking to do is set my stop loss at my entry candles low. So if I bring up my drawing tool here and get out, rid of all of these old drawings here, okay? If this is my entry candle at 650, I'm going to mentally and or physically put a stop order at the low of my entry candle. Why am I doing that? Because this candle is my reason why I am taking the trade. I am never going to lose more than one bar. If this happens to backpedal, come back in, test the 20 period moving average and close below, so be it. That's the cost of doing business. We move on and look for another setup. But this is how you limit your risk and this is how you grow your account by taking two, three, four, five bars in the green and limiting your losses to always one bar. You will always come out on top at the end of the week, at the end of the uh, month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year. So if this is my reason for taking this trade because we confirmed the 20 period moving average reclaim, I'm going to set my stop. This is my max loss, my protection at the end of the tail. If there's a tail, if there's no tail or a small tail here, it would just be at the end of the bar. Uh, this is my reason why I am looking for one, two pushes higher, and I'll show you how we can kind of squeeze out some more. So in this 
case here, I'm going to enter in around 105.27. I actually got filled at 105.32, 105.33. Next candle opens up here, pushes a little bit higher, and then closes pretty much inside of my entry candle, which is fine. 10 minutes later, makes this second push higher. So this is actually going to be our second push. If this is our entry candle, this is entry candle push number one. We enter in at 105.27 or as close to it as possible. This is our first push higher. We have a little bit of a rest and then we have this second push higher, five, 10, 15 minutes of back testing. However, does not close below our second push, telling us that we are still in this trade. And boom, we get our third push higher. It was right here on this close where I closed out three of my six contracts, options contracts, because I'm an options trader, normally 80 to 90% of the time, unless I'm doing some sort of long swing where I like to take uh, equities. Um, I took six contracts total in the money. And I sold three of those six contracts here, and I now moved my stop to this low. And why I moved it to this low is just because even if, let's say this candle here at 7.30 opens up, makes a push higher and starts to backtrace, I already took profits here. And if this candle was to come down and close, let's say here, I would stop out and still be positive on this trade being that I entered in over here, okay? Obviously, this would be close to break even or just a little bit, you know, positive. However, I would have taken profits on those three contracts here, okay? So as long as we do not come down here and close below my profit taking candles low, I am still in this trade. So what happens... Okay, how can we increase our three pushes or two pushes to four pushes to five pushes? And I'll show you exactly how. If we set, if we take profits here and we set our new stop loss here, okay, this new candle opens up and makes another high. What I'm going to do now is now move my stop to this candle's low, okay? So, Every push higher after my first profit taking, I am now going to begin to scale back more of my position size. In this candle here, I proceeded to sell another two contracts, and now I am left with one remaining runner contract, even if this comes back down here, which it almost came close to this low, however, stayed above. I am still in the trade. If this candle was to say close down here at the bottom wick, I would just be out on that last contract and I would have been a, pro a profitable trader on all six contracts. This contract would have lost a little bit just because of the two uh, down pushes here. That is how we can uh, take our two pushes, three pushes to four pushes higher. So again, just to recap, if 105.27 is the reclaim, I'm looking for that confirmation of the reclaim. I'm going to enter the trade here. My stop loss is going to be at my entry candles low price. As long as this next candle or third candle does not come down and close below, I am still in this trade. I'm looking for two to three pushes higher generally on the five minute, uh, five minute time frame. If I don't get those contracts uh, to move within that first five to 10 minutes, and the stock chart starts to retrace and it hits my stop loss or closes and or below my entry candles low, I will just exit the trade, either take a small loss on the trade and or break even. So if I entered here, a little bit of a rest candle here, we get this second push higher off my entry. My new stop becomes here. So I move my stop from here to here. A little bit of a back test here. Third push higher here. This becomes my new stop loss, scaling out as we're moving up. We get a fourth push higher here. This becomes my new stop loss. We get a push higher here, back test, back test, come down and touch this level. So depending on what type of trader you are, if you're a little bit more of a riskier trader and or if you're a little bit more on the cautious side, you could have stopped out here, which is completely fine. You did get two to four pushes higher on your move, depending on your position size, or if you're a little bit more risky and you wanted to give it one more bar just to see, you would have got an initial five pushes higher. You would have taken profits here at the close. Definitely when we see any kind of candle like this, indecisive candle, um, 
it's definitely going to tell you that we are changing momentum. And obviously we did change momentum, but if your stop loss would have been at this five push hires low, you could see here five, 10 minutes later, we would have stopped out here and still been profitable on the move. So if we just kind of take all of this off here and kind of see what that looks like from the profit taking perspective, I got entered at 105.33, okay? The confirmation was 105.27. You can see here on that first push higher, we come to 105.55. The second push higher closes at 105.78. Automatically, you're close to 50 cents in the profit. Okay, so a 50 cent move in just about 10 minutes. So if you're playing equities, that would have been 50 cents per one share that, you're, that you are trading. If you are a 100 um, share one lot trader, you would have made close to 40 to $50 on that move. If we look at our third push higher here, 105.98, we're looking at about 60, almost 70 cent move, you would have been profitable 60 to 70 cents. Obviously, if you trade 200 shares, that would double instead of 50 to $60 profit, it would have been 100 to 110. If you trade 300, obviously, uh, it just goes up and up and up. Uh, on that fourth push higher here, the price comes to 106.17. So just about 90 cents on that move. So let's say you are a, a trader who trades 500 shares and you made 90 cents on that move. You're looking at a profit between 400. Let's say, let's say you're scaling out. You'll be looking at a profit between 300 and 450 dollars in just about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, in just about 40 minutes, okay? So that's how powerful it is. You have to be disciplined. You have to understand that if the move fails, you need to just exit, lose no more than one bar. I cannot stress that enough. Guys, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more recaps like this. If you like this video, please do me a favor. Uh, like the video, comment, share it subscribe to the channel. Also join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below, but I will catch you guys all on the next video.